is Rail Seas overhyped? Rail Seas is pretty obviously the most hyped game we've seen arguably on Roblox of all time, but that doesn't necessarily make it overhyped. A game is overhyped by not just having a lot of hype, the game has to not live up to the amount of hype it has. So to put it simply, overhyped is essentially expectations versus reality. And for Rail Seas specifically, this gets really weird because I feel like Rail Seas could objectively be the best game on Roblox, but at the same time, you could still argue it's overhyped and it could still fail a lot of people's expectations. And that's not because Rail Seas is bad, that just means the expectations are extremely high. So is Rail Seas overhyped? And to answer that question, we're gonna be looking at a video by my boy Techie OP. And that video is called Why Overhyping is Bad for Rail Seas. And I don't know if Techie's throwing shots at us YouTubers, but I gotta see what he's saying. And honestly, Techie's opinion matters a lot. He's a pretty smart guy himself. So make sure to go subscribe to my boy Techie OP and myself, and let's get straight into this video. Why overhyping is bad for Rail Seas? Rail Seas is definitely the most hyped Roblox Definitely is generally, of history. course. Everyone in the community has been dropping videos and obviously overhyping the yeah, game. Yeah, I see myself the there. I will be talking about if Rail Seas deserves to be hyped up for its own good. Without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get straight into this. Subscribe to my boy Techie for real. The exciting news behind Rail Seas. In recent news, Rail Seas has dropped tons of sneaks in their Discord. Bro, server. I actually I mean, think if you just look at most popular or, or most games on Roblox right now, I don't think there's a single game that's dropped more sneaks in the like past few months than rail seas right and even their youtube recently we've seen new sneaks including all the fruits that will be in the game totaling at around 30 fruits on release i think it's 32 confirmed, right of course got people super excited for what is to come because we have never seen something like this when it comes to that many fruits on release the game also got confirmation of a story mode that will be including in the game bosses also look crazy the story the mode the, the story mode is kind of confirmed but i don't know if y'all seen the tweet i was doing my one video it, it's kind of confirmed but to an extent he said storyline is interesting to develop so i think it's a story mode of some sort but i wouldn't say 100 percent confirmed there will be a lot especially of considering it kind of goes against the non-linear thing they said in the past ships seem to be an integral part of the gameplay design as well and i think ship combat should kind of work like arcane so i think that ship combat yeah i agree i was i kind of had that th same seen thought in my head ship combat other than just like when i was thinking of the ship one combat. of the main pieces of information that broke games have been really trying to hone in on is the amount of mounts in the game in the different types there are so many different types of mounts that will include land mounts flying mounts within the game my own only concern is how this, are they this going mount is not for rail c just so y'all know but the dev actually my boy skitty he told me about this this is not for rail c's this these mounts right here is for some other project but either way they do look good the done by the same uh one of the rail c's than, like, devs flying mounts throughout the game since flying mounts are generally better yeah. in most games i'm trying to think of the same thing for flying mounts I, I, honestly the only way i could think of it in my head is either flying mounts are just like reserved for like higher rarities maybe like legendaries or something or you just put like big nerfs on flying mounts mounts like maybe uh flying mounts aren't able to go as fast as land mounts or something of that nature because i really don't know how else you would uh make it so flying mounts are just not objectively not 10 times better. Mounts. they also even said that bosses will be able to become your mount at the defeat yeah that's actually a really cool a concept. really neat idea how to obtain mounts normally will probably be from shops around the game there is so many unique enemy designs that are in one piece that so many games have failed to use i was just thinking because he said through shops around the game do y'all feel like the currency needs to be mad viable because well, i mean me personally in, like i hope the, belly the doesn't become useless like it is in games like show, gpo like there's no point to even having island. money another thing so i hope money actually has real value one is a zone type fruits they are animated super well and compared to other one piece games their zones don't even come close yeah i'm not gonna lie bro zones really weren't even on roblox before rail seas like they were but like the only zones i could think of is like block Street dragon and that really didn't look good in my opinion but like these like rail seas is up the standard crazy and now you're seeing a lot more games look into zones and i think a lot of it has to do with uh seeing rail c's show all these models off and whatnot and obviously the hype they're trying to be we like something that's getting that a lot of hype for real seas has already been easily over six figures so that is probably why everything looks so high yeah. quality compared to everyone else's one piece game. it is over we know 100 that the world brothers are also focusing heavily on the world building of the game which basically just means how the world around you works and evolves as you play they really want the buildings in the games have some use that oh well, i think they talked about didn't they talk about having a lot of interior and buildings i'm not sure if that's 100 percent confirmed but got confirmation of things like the, the interior boss, we even got matters a lot more than a lot of games actually being in game showcasing the textures and such they even showcase some more mounts like the big crab thing they i'm not gonna lie where uh, this like i see so many people complain about this big crab actually let me go back in game honestly guys listen listen they even look like you see that movement the jump i agree i hope it's not like this uh when the game actually releases i don't think so because bro this mount just it doesn't i don't know the bounce and the the physics 
I do agree. Like they could, they could be worked on a little bit because the bounces are kind of wild. How the dragon fruit transformation will look in game. They really wanted to emphasize that dragon is still like the best dragon I've seen in my life. Showcasing the layered textures alongside no glaze. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's all glaze. And I have to say, I am very impressed with how the game looks. A lot of devs think that they have to make their game look like GPL to succeed and have good graphics. But this a good is, art style goes a long way. Rose season, my opinion. Okay, this is actually a really good point. So many games like Project Slayers, even all the games that are like Project Mugetsu and things of that nature, they essentially try to copy graphics instead of just making their own style. And obviously the graphics still look good, but I feel like uh you don't have to limit yourself like that if that makes sense. A super unique look that I actually prefer over games like GPO and, and Slayers. We know okay, I don't know if I necessarily prefer it over them completely. Game, I still have to see like to go and everything in game first. Probably looting and gathering from the island. But I agree. Time playing real seeds. So, so many games just try to copy GPO instead of trying to be original with their art style. Exploration based sounds amazing, but if done wrong, it could lead to the game feeling like it has no direction to it. But luckily, we already know that you can pretty much do anything to progress, and the progression will just be on time. Wait, what did that but message luckily, say? We already know that you can pretty much do to clear up uh mounts we don't have any stupid useless quests to make it go across the map this is actually really that's like called fetch quest essentially like a game will just have you do a bunch of fetch fetch quests and like bandits peroxide has a bunch of fetch quests like that where you just go and deliver something for no reason it says rails these islands are medium sized this is cap i'm not gonna lie from what we've seen so far that sounds like cap i feel like they changed it because if you look at the bratier sink which i'll go over in the future and uh some of just every island we've seen so far looks really big so medium maybe medium compared to like real games but not compared to roblox games definitely on the larger side from what we've seen so far progression style isn't linear you could uh do almost anything to progress uh do anything to progress they did say that i guess i didn't even remember that for real. beating which is very good news in my i wonder opinion. what that means yeah, exactly, no, the maybe you could like i assume there's gonna be like stuff that, like fishing hey, i will and probably many others will appreciate that direction in the game even beyond just the fruits we know that rose seeds will also be trying to focus on the gun and weapon side of things as well as yeah i actually plan on going gun when rail seeds release game i'm really hoping that the weapons and guns can be a primary play style instead of just the fruits being the main play style in a lot of games we also know that rail seeds uh, I feel like I feel like I want to say for guns. I feel like most people are still gonna go like sword and and fruit main, especially. I don't know. We don't know exactly how the builds are gonna work yet, obviously. But I feel like, bro, I, I'm gonna go guns because guns are gonna have the range to deal with some of these bosses and stuff at way better. For PVE, range is always good in like every game. So I'm a personally gonna be going guns. I feel like uh. Music like, is going to be super and, and I forgot to also mention the gun M1s. You don't lose ammo, so it's really just like a sword M1 when you're uh, actually M1ing. And but but then you have gun bullets as range. It's kind of broken. Thanks to the development team, to stay at least really the, the concept is broken. With immersion while playing, hearing a certain song will really make you feel like a pirate selling a sea. Not gonna lie, I'm muted the music. Wildlife can't even lie to you. Yeah. Even if it it could be the best music ever, I muted it so they won't feel as dead. Fishing will also be in the game, and I really hope it's like arcane, where it's actually fun. And oh, fishing is confirmed. Then I'd be forgetting an option for leveling up your character. They already said there will be different rarities for the fish and such in the game. We also know that impel down will be a major part of the game no, that impel down world and includes all six floors a lot of people don't understand how how big of a deal this impel down actually is we've never seen a real impel down in a roblox game so for it to be as good as it sounds like it's gonna be like open world inside of an open world is insane and that's so i guess what we get area. all in all i believe that after all this news about the game it's no wonder why it's so overhyped the game looks truly unbelievable you okay i want to talk about that you said so overhyped because that's the main purpose of this video is to talk about it being overhyped right now i feel like judging only on what we've seen so far the game isn't necessarily overhyped because everything we've seen is good now we haven't seen the full game and when we see the full game maybe we did overhype it and put our expectations too high based on what we did see but I still feel like it's too early to say it's straight up overhyped. But I feel like it could still be the best game on Roblox and be overhyped. I don't know what I'm saying to be honest. But if y'all get what I mean, Rose Seas is actually going to be releasing for testing, and when will everyone actually be able to get their hands on the game? I believe personally that Rose Seas will probably be releasing testing in late November to early December, and the chances for a 2023 release are becoming more. We could talk about that. We could talk about that a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, he's right. He is right. That every day that goes by with no news about testing or anything like. 
uh, like that is another day where it's more likely things like not coming out in 2023. Basically Let's be really it's what September. So we got. I don't think it's realistically it could still if the if they made progress really fast. But the fact that they're still developing things like Impel Down, which are going to be huge parts of the game, and then you would have to test the. They did say they would test the game in 30 days, but I'm honestly think it's going to have to be more like two or three months just because of all the content they have and whatnot. So realistically, I would aim. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be early uh, 2024. Not, I, I would be pretty surprised if it actually still came in 2023. Might have to make a, that a whole video, updated video on that. In the project back as confirmed by the robotism themselves. We know that Holy War Which S sucks because initially we were thinking like together. summer. So that collab or this year at least. Between the two games. But word on that is so limited that I'm not even sure if that's even happening anymore. Yeah, the Holy War the to. Holy War X collab with Rail Seas was playing, but hey, I guess like my grandkids are going to be playing both these games because I'm not even going to lie. Holy War has not given us a sneak in like five months. By Tester for a chance to get Tester and play the game early. It's not it like was, other games. It was supposed to release last year in December. Tester, but Rail Games actually wants people that will find bugs and glitches with the game so they will be hand picking them out from a selection, probably. The reason I say Rail Seas might Yo, be Rail delayed C, to give me Tester, please. Is Respect because the Rail Brothers are always constantly revamping and canceling certain things to surrounding the game. And see, 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 this is actually a really good point. Holy War does the exact revamping. same thing. Like this Leopard model was already clean. Yeah, the new one is better, but if you really think about it, I would rather them spend that time making more content than revamping things that are already top tier for Roblox. Like some of the revamps just feel very unnecessary. Like are things that I don't feel like even need to be revamped. They're still like A S tier for that game, but they want it to be like most beginning the game in early 2020. They want it to be the best. I can wait on Roblox ever. I guess better I respect the project. I believe if the game gets delayed, it was probably for a good reason, since the Roblox are pretty experienced developers in the community and know how to handle a project by now. Exhibit C. True, true. If it does get delayed, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm personally gonna be like sad personally, obviously, because Rail Seas has a lot to do with my channel and I wanna play the game. But realistically, it's better if they delay it than if they released it when it should have been delayed. So we can't even be mad. For YouTuber it. over hyping issues. Why right, are we putting me on Friday alert? YouTube hyping issues. Crazy, so creating videos on the game before release. We still have to talk about the issues that this will create in the future. Overhyping Roblox anime games is not new in this community. So many games perish due to the immense amount of pressure put on the devs to create something truly amazing due to the expectation. Guys, is it wrong for me to say that we can't really determine if I over if I've overhyped Rail Seas or any of the YouTubers have over? Over hype Rail Seas until we actually play Rail Seas. Because for me personally, my expectations, I'm not going to lie, they're stupid high. My expectations are nothing less than the best game on Roblox, like I was saying earlier. So if it is anything less than that, I and, and I feel like that's how I've been pushing the game. So if it is less than that, uh, or at least in my opinion, I feel like I, I probably overhyped it. But put on generally, I don't even know if you could say yet, now, if that makes sense. probably never see this change. I am even a bit guilty of overhyping real Yo, stuff. that views is stupid. Look at that, 326k views. Techie eat it. So, it's just hard not to put this game on such a pedestal because of how good everything we have seen looks. But I have to say... Yeah, I the really problem is we haven't seen everything, though. ...blind hype and assumptions from what we have actually seen from the game. Yes, I believe that the Robles can deliver an amazing game because I have played so many of their great games before, but to put so many unrealistic expectations on a roblox game at that is just not smart especially he is he is he is spinning with this i'm not gonna lie the expectations are ridiculous for a roblox game like the standards we've we're holding rail c's at right now is literally above pretty much triple a games are getting held to lower standards than we are holding rail c's to which is literally a free game so to an extent he's right no roblox is a children's platform and a lot of people naturally can't think for themselves it will automatically make false assumptions about the game and what it will be versus what it would actually be like okay 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 i, I want to mention this too because it's my video sorry for pausing so much but guys my videos i give my opinion and i feel like my opinion is mostly educated and it's a good opinion to go off of but do not just my opinion use it as your own you still have your own opinion even on what i say in my videos like, i feel like a lot of people are confused the there. Brothers, yes overhyping probably won't ever end for any game let alone rail c's but please as a viewer i'm not gonna lie rail c's overhyping is not stopping everything that is said about the game with a grain of salt albeit i am still very excited for the game as well but my expectations are still set to a point where they can be realistically met in the game officially i feel like same here exhibit d is overhyping actually bad for real c's this is roblox at the end of the day not gonna lie i really don't even if you make the argument that uh like people will hop on and have better expectations for real c's itself i feel like even if it doesn't meet our expectations regardless it's still gonna be a fun game 
I'd be very surprised if it's not a fun game. So, is it bad? I don't really think so. I still think it's going to boost Relsi's numbers. Um, and people are still going to be excited and want to play the game regardless. So, I don't necessarily think so. Game engine. So, many things people probably assume will but be But a lot of people are going to be disappointed. Be I'm not going to lie. Or it'd be limited to some degree. Just because not the expectations are ridiculous. Perfect, and not everything you see will be guaranteed to be in the game. Being skeptical is actually better than being overhyped for something that could be months out of actually being released. It is okay to have high expectations, but it is not okay to basically hold your expectations so high that you are bound to be disappointed because in your head, you thought that Rose Seas was the second coming of Jesus. On the this, is true, this is true. This is true. I'm not gonna lie like like that's why my standard like I said is just the best It doesn't have to be ten times better than the second best game Just the best is what I'm hoping the game is gonna be and I feel like 2023 and Even that's ridiculous but you what I'm saying games that have been subpar and I fail repeatedly Yo, wait, wait, what do you call out? What do you call out? What games do you call out? Games that have been subpar Pixel piece type solar rail. I mean in uh reasons I don't think uh, Rose is one of these games because I think the Rail Brothers have such a strong portfolio and fan base that it will do good no matter how the game comes out. Already. It is. People have been saying even if the game is bad, it's still gonna get like 20 to be blocked just players. as much as the next guy. But holding Rose Seas to that high of a standard out the gate is bound to be a disappointment waiting to happen. Okay, guys, are we saying block shoots in terms of player count? Because to be block shoots in player count is possible, but I don't think it's going to happen instantly. It would need to grow and reach even players outside of Roblox to really amass a player count like that to be above block shoots. But in gameplay wise, we should definitely have standards above block shoots, obviously. Real C's and Block Streets fundamentally will be different games, and Block Streets will fit the Roblox formula a whole lot more than Real C's. He's, since he's right. children are not the main focus. We already know. I've made a video on that. Essentially, if Real C's does get more players than Real C's, I think it's going to be a lot of people from outside of Roblox that maybe like One Piece, and that's why they try out Real C's, not because they're already on Roblox uh, and things of that nature. So the game will 100% be GPO anyway, though. But again, obviously, I think a lot of people from Roblox still is realistic for Real C's, and just enjoy the game for what it will hopefully be, which is a really good one piece experience. I'm not gonna lie, GPO probably platform. could. And I think out of all the games, this one should be hyped the most genuinely. But See, that's my point. If I hype up Rail Seas the most genuinely because it genuinely is the game that should have the most hype, am I really overhyping it? Like, I know I'm hyping it up the most, and maybe I'm hyping it up too much, even. So I guess maybe you could say it's overhyping. But I feel like to actually find out, we have to see the game. And I'm only going based on what I've seen. So if you think that I've seen some uh, parts of the, the parts we have seen of the game, like some models, I'm hyping up the models. That doesn't mean the whole game is going to be perfect. I think a lot of people get that confused. So if you hop in round season, it's not perfect. I never said that, just so y'all know. But as I say in every video, if you guys enjoyed this video and you like some more content like this, like and subscribe to my boy Techie like and my channel. We love Techie. You already know. W video Techie. Uh, classic Techie banger. Uh, uh, there's also some new round season sneaks. We will be making a separate video on that just because uh, that's a whole different video in itself. But overall, I don't think Rail Seas is necessarily overhyped, I guess would be my, my personal message. I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Like, subscribe. Appreciate y'all. Like. There's Roblox.